When implants are ready to be restored, we will occasionally discover that they are submerged below the attached gingiva. We are then faced with a decision of the best way to expose the implant. Excessive gingival tissue that is allowed to interfere with the implant retainer interface results in an improperly seated retainer. Retainers that are not fully seated can eventually become loosened by occlusal forces, resulting in unstable restorations. A scalpel can be used to acquire access to the implant, but this surgical procedure is often accompanied by significant bleeding, leading to poor visibility and can create unnecessary trauma. Use of the electrosurgery instrument is not indicated for recovery due to the risk of electrical energy coming in contact with the titanium implant. Metal contact with electrical energy can result in damage to bones surrounding the implant, leading to osteonecrosis. A quick, safe, and dependable technique for exposing implants employs the use of diode lasers. After unscrewing the healing abutment, overgrowing and pinging tissue within the recess can be melted away quickly with the side of the laser fiber using slight amounts of infiltrated local anesthetic. Quick, light brush strokes are made with the fiber using 1.0 watts of power set on CW mode with an initiated tip. During the two-week time frame required to fabricate the restorations, there may be some rebound effect of the tissue around the retainer, and in this case, another round of light trothing will be necessary prior to cementing the final restorations.